Hi folks, welcome to today's episode of My Life with Robert Burns. I'm here with my friend Jim Thompson uh, from Newcomer at Burns Club. Hi Jim, how you doing? Hi Douglas, hi everybody. We're going to have a wee chat with some of our cronies from uh, around the Burns world um, and we're very keen that you're able to listen in and, uh, and enjoy the conversation. We're pleased to say that we've got another first tonight. Um, this time we've got an intergenerational couple. Um, now that's something different for you. We've not tried that so far, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we're pleased to introduce the president of the Dumfries and Galloway Burns Association and a former Young Burnsian of the Year. Uh, please welcome Fiona Evans and our daughter, Leona. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Great, thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much for the kind invite. You're yeah. very welcome. And how are you both doing today? Yeah, very well, thank you. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. Good. So this is this is something different for us. So um, I'm not quite sure how we'll do it, but uh, we can leave it leave it up to you. We usually start off with asking you to tell us a little bit about yourselves. So I don't know whether you want to take turn about or whether you want to um, just interrupt each other as you go along. <laughs> well, I'll let since Mum is the oldest, I'll let her go first. <laughs> oh, that's very kind. Very kind. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Fiona Evans and uh, I'm 54. I was born in 1966 in Annan. I've lived all my life in Annan, a lovely wee town on the Solway coast. Um, I've done different types of jobs. My first job was uh, James Norson Sons in Annan, who, which is actually now called Alpha Solway, which has been pretty famous in this pandemic. It's made lots of the visors and supplied the NHS. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite a famous little factory. Um, this is where I met my husband, Stuart, and uh, we married in 1988. Uh, went on to have our three children, uh, David, who's, who's 30, Gavin, and now the youngest is uh, Leona. Is that a cue for Leona to come in and tell us a little bit about herself? She could, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm Leona. It uh, was Evans, obviously. Um, so I was born in 1994. So I'm 26. And I have lived in Annan all my life, but I went to university in Glasgow to the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and did a degree in traditional music. Um, I went to Annan Academy and Hecklegarth Primary School before that. Um, do a lot of uh, theatre um, in Langham and things like that. I enjoy like amateur dramatic stuff and um, do a lot of that. Um, I met my husband oh, back in 2012. Um, he's from the Fekin, so he is. Um, and I got him to move to Annan. So rather than living in Fekin, we moved to Annan. Um, convinced, <laughs> him, convinced him of that. <laughs> so we bought a house here. Uh, back in 2016 and then married in 2018. So, Very good. And, and what do you do as a job? Um, I work, at the minute, I've got two jobs. I work as a um, care worker uh, for adults with additional support needs. And I work in Lockerbie Academy as an assistant. Very good. What about you, Fiona? Well, I actually work for, for Key Housing. Um, who support people with learning disabilities, the same company that Leona works for. I'm an administrator who basically does finances. That's my main role. So I, I support the, the people we support with, with their finances and help the workers with that. I'd imagine uh, working with people with learning difficulties would be quite rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, a job that I wasn't sure about when I first got... Mum's worked there for years, so... Mum always knew I would be good at it, so was encouraging me to go. So I was always kind of apprehensive, but it's such a rewarding job to to see um, the people we support, you know, find joy in the littlest of things. It makes you appreciate life more, you know, and be grateful for the life you have as well, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Although I'm at a distance because I'm in the office, you know, you still see, we've still got a, a good level of support there that you can see when people come in, it's just, it's just really is a joy. As Luna said, I've, I've worked there actually for 16 years. 
And the reason, one of the main reasons why I ended up moving there, I had several jobs once the children had grown up. Um, I went and worked at the Bank of Scotland. I'm quite happy there. But in 2002, um, sadly at 36, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So it was a, a, obviously a, a you know, life-changing thing to happen. And the kids were really wee, Leona was only eight years old. So um, through that, obviously surgeries and various things and treatments, you know, and obviously I'm 16 years on, well, a lot more on that, that's from that. And I'm, I'm fit and well, which is fantastic. But it's a bit of a cliche, but a life-changing event makes you change your thoughts, processes on what you want to do in life. Yeah. And my focus has always been my family and it always will be my family, but I was, I'm very bad at having me time. So actually, this is where a lot of the me time comes, my, my time I spend with Burns and the time that I, I, I changed my career path and, and went to do a job that I would really, really enjoy. And at 16 years later, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I understand that because my wife has done some work with people learning difficulties over the years. Um, but equally, um, from the point of view of your breast cancer, I'm sure you're a big supporter of the NHS as well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I actually was a volunteer for a charity called Breast Cancer Care. Um, and I did. A, I was very lucky to be chosen to be a, a model for breast cancer care and I appeared in the Sunday Mail and things. So it was, it, yeah, just they raise a lot of money and they, 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 not the NHS saved my life, but the charity saved my mental state, you know, because obviously it was a, a, a difficult time to go through and they were fantastic. So I yeah. loved volunteering for them, loved it. And are you still uh, involved with that charity? No, I think you move on from things in yeah. your life. I'm always there. I'm always available if anybody wanted to chat about it. Um, people who know me will, will contact and say about somebody they know, and I, I'm always a phone call away. But, no, I think you move on and, and you're, you know, your life changes for different reasons. So, so yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. I'm happy to say that I'm a lot further down the road now. So. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear it. And you, you seem to have had a, a great attitude towards it. Yeah, yeah, difficult times, and and not saying that it wasn't difficult at the time, but I do think that it makes you rethink and take stock of your life, and and yeah. we have, and which is good. Very good. So, what what about hobbies and interests? Well, hobbies for me is is based around the family, really. Yeah. Uh, we love like nothing better than all getting together. If it wasn't for COVID, we would all be together. We would we would probably be together right now. And we would maybe um, play games on the Wii or board games. As a lot, of, quite competitive we are as a family. <laughs> so uh, there's there's quite a lot of hilarity and just fun. And my big thing is about making memories, memories with the kids and 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 their partners and and my mum and dad and things. It's just wonderful. So fantastic. And uh, obviously you're competitive as well, you and I having oh, won yeah. the competition. Won the competition, but whether you live in the fake or not. Oh, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very uh, competitive. There's always a, there's a classic story about my brother um, and St. Lim Polos. He had a, a pool table and it was like a little one. And I was, I think we were maybe like, he's a year above me. So he's maybe eight and I'm seven. And it was like, right, whoever pots the black gets the lemon polos. And they were like gold dust. And dad had said to him, oh, come on, let her get closer to the black. Well, of course, did I not pot them all and then pot the black? So he was like living <laughs> because he was like, I deserve them polos. So no, we are all very competitive. <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure if I like you winning the competition of moving away for the second because that's where my grandmother comes from. Oh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> I know that we. Hey, uh, I, I like Anne too, though. Yeah, no, I love Beckham. I mean, um, his mum and that are not, and most of his family. I mean, his family hails from Edinburgh and Fife and all over. Um, but they've got he's got a lot of family still in Beckham. But I wanted to be close to mum and 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 next to next to Tesco's and things. <laughs> 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 you know, the most important things. You know, walk to Tesco's. Get, get your priorities sorted. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, very good. Well, let's let's move away from Tesco's and, and maybe move on to Burns. Yeah. And I'll pass you over to Jim and get Jim to get you started talking about your, your both your careers with, with Robert Burns. 
Well, a, a source of mine told me that uh, you had a very unique road into Burns uh, as a couple, so we'll no spoiler for people. So who's going to start us off, Leona or Fiona? Um, I think I'll start off with my mum. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so back when I was five or six, I joined a, well, I think I was singing in a church for Christmas, actually. And a lady came up to me called Barbara Lewis, or up to mum and said, you need to get her to the local choir. And the choir is called Rainbow Tribe. Um, and it still runs um, on a Tuesday night at the United Reformed Church in Annan. So I went along there and um, did, they do concerts quite twice a year or once or twice a year anyway. The woman who runs uh, the choir um, asked mum if I would be interested in joining and taking part in the Burns competition. So I was in P4 at the time. And of course, mum said yes. I said, ah, absolutely no problem. So a group of us um, from Hecklegurth and different schools went to the Burns competition. And I think the first song I sang was Coming Through the Rye. And yeah, went there and they were like, oh, you won't get a, a medal or anything. You know, it's just the taken part. So mum off trotted and um, my gran and everything. There was like a, through the years, they had their picnics at the back and they were always ready for a great, great day out to the, <laughs> the police burns competitions. You know, they were all at the back there. Um, so we all went and thought, oh, you know, we'll just go for a day and it'll be fine. And well, it ended up that me and my friends got first and second. So we went off to the Nationals. And do you remember where it was, Mum? It was at Bells Hill. Bells Hill. Bells so we went Hill. off to the Nationals. And there, again, we uh, got first and second there. So from that moment on, we were just hooked. And we were there every year with bells on to the regional <laughs> competitions and nationals if we were lucky enough to go. Yeah. When Leona mentioned it, there's great times, honestly, the following we had. And we, we called us all the Annan Posse. So, and as Leona said, we all sat at the back with, and the, the Annan ones had all the, the, the only area and they had their picnic and oh, it was just great, great fun. And we always marked everybody as well. So, you know, so compared notes to see who, whether we agreed with the adjudicator or not. So great, great time. So I take, I take it from that, uh, Fiona, that uh, you've just followed on. Well, you know, we, we went to the competition, as I say, we, we went there for years. Eventually, through that, we were invited, well, Leona was invited and I was a chaperone, so I, I took it everywhere. And we went to the Ann and Ladies, Ladies Burns Club. Lovely group of ladies. Um, and made extremely welcome there. And I say Leona would perform with Barbara and all the kids and uh, eventually became a member. Not, I wouldn't say eventually, quite quickly became a member um, with the kids being honorary members. And then through that, I'm now secretary. Don't know how that happens, but hey, <laughs> so I'm now secretary and a ladies' buns club. So there's nothing wrong with uh, getting a joiner in her and giving her a point of office. Uh, no. <laughs> I know. I know. We've just got to show me down law. Well, you know, you might as well you might as well do this because Leona's here, and you might as well do this because Leona's going to be here, and mm -hmm. and then uh, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I love my time with Anna Ladies. I think I've been secretary for nearly 10 years now. So it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's been really, really good. And, and they're so passionate, so passionate about the club. We, Anna and Ladies, for people that don't know, are actually the oldest surviving Ladies Burns Club in the world. So we were, um, we cel celebrated our 90th anniversary in 2018. We're federated on the we're first first um, meeting was on the twenty eighth of January nineteen twenty eight. So um, we had a, a a big celebration our ninetieth year. And for that, I did quite a lot of research. Went to the newspapers and um, trawled through all sorts of old new, newspaper clippings. But the thing that struck me more than anything was the passion that some of our members had for the club. I probably hadn't even realised it before. And one of our oldest silver members, a lady called May Hislop, has newspaper clippings from the 80s. She has every single 
clipping. She has memorabilia, signed memorabilia, everything about the club. And we did this in a presentation and I was really quite touched and I think I was blown away by the passion, but it, it made, it spurred me on, if you know what I mean. So yeah, really good. Well, between the two of you, you must have been quite a few bum suppers, I would think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> I think I kind of, because I was doing it for so long, I think I was built up to it and built, um, you know, it was like one and then maybe two and then, oh, maybe three go to, you know, Dumfries ladies number one and Dumfries, you know, so it was a like quite a bit. And, um, but then I think the year I won Young Burnsian, it sort of exploded. And I think, I, th I remember having a joke with um, when I was in Aberdeen, I did a festival kind of thing up there and um, was doing burn suppers and stuff up there. And I was saying to the president at the time, I forgive me, I can't remember his name. Mum will probably remember. But I was saying to him, oh, you know, I've got I've got 20 burn suppers this year. You know, oh, my goodness. And he says, oh, how many have you got? As if thinking, oh, it'll be close to that. And he went, 56. I was like, <laughs> oh. Maybe it's not that many that I've got then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> was it not Angus Middleton at the same the time? Is it not Angus yeah. Middleton? What year was it? What year was it you, you won it? 2011. 2011. Could have been Angus. That's that's round about the time. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I, oh, it's terrible. I can't, I can't remember. I, I don't know if it was Angus. I think it might have been, was it Jim was his name? Jim Shields. Jim Shields, that was yes. who it was. It was Jim Shields. Yeah. Both Angus and Jim Shields will do 50 every year anyway. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, that's it. But I remember sitting going, oh, you know, I've got so many. And then compared to, I was like, oh, but it's not a lot for a, oh, at the time, maybe 14 year old, <laughs> you know. And what about mum? Well, I mean, I was, I mainly went along as a chaperone, so I would just go along and listen and, and meet all these wonderful people and hear all these speakers. And obviously as a very, very proud mum, you know, to sit there and listen to the adulation of your daughter doing so well. So it, it was, it was fabulous time. The, the year that Leona won Young Burnsian was absolutely unbelievable. You know, probably, I, I hope she appreciated it, but I'm sure she did, but we certainly did, you know, even even our, our dad, Stuart, got involved, you know, and we were up to West Sound and, and it, it was just, it was the burn supper up at Glasgow. Just Leona said she was invited to Aberdeen by Helena Wright. It just, it opened so many doors. And through that, you ended up at the applying for the Royal Conservatoire to do traditional music. So it's, Burns has a lot, you know, the, we always, we, always um, we were joking now that because mum is so successful in her own right, I mean, it was always that it was all, Leo, oh, this is your mum, this is your mum. I'm like, yeah, Leona's yeah, mom. The, yeah. Leona's mum was our name. It wasn't Fiona for a while, you know, uh, but it was Leona's mum. And now it's to the point of, you know, how many burn suppers have I got this year? Oh, I've got like three or four or something. Mum's got more, two times as much as me. You know, she's like our burns in her own right now, which makes me really proud. To, to know that she's so involved in it now, in her own right, rather than just my mum. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a reluctant speaker, aren't I, Leona? I'm a reluctant speaker. People will say, oh, you can do that, you'll do that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But no, I really, I really enjoy it now. Really thoroughly enjoy it. Well, again, I'd get back to my original source and he tells me you're quite, uh, you're, you're, you're an extremely good speaker. Is oh, that... thank you, thank you. I'll give him the five or later. I'm not telling you who this is. The, the, the <laughs> I could guess. <laughs> no, I really enjoy it. You know, I think one of the things for me, it's a Burns family, you know, meeting everyone. And it's just, yeah, everyone's so welcoming. And I think I've, I'm always worried that you, you don't, know enough so you're not worthy enough you know to say to say things but everyone wants you to do well you know everyone wants you to Please. to to succeed so i think that's you know it's really really good it's definitely like a family you know and 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 that family's uh, elected you to be president of the Friesen gallery yeah, yeah, what a year to be chosen, eh? What a year. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I was actually approached a few years before that, and as I probably indicated just before, I have got a bit of a thing that I didn't think, oh, I don't know if I could do that. 
Um, so then when I was approached for the second time, I thought, yeah, you know, because the point is, you don't have to know everything. You're here to learn. And I'm learning from all of you, you know, so I'm learning all the time. I've got all these people, you know, to me, my my heroes is are people like Bobby Jess, you know, Jane Brown. Jane Brown's t- completely taken me under her wing. She's always at the end of the phone if I need to ask her a question. She always, you know, she she says, you know what you're doing. You don't need me, but she'll help me. It, it just gave me that wee bit of encouragement. But yeah, well, so when I actually accepted, I was really, really excited. So looking forward to this year, it's going to be magnificent. And then, unfortunately, COVID struck. So I didn't even know if I was going to get a chain. But uh, yeah. And a- any partic- particular targets for the Friesen Gallery during the year or, or future years? Sorry, how do you mean, Southwest? Well, is there a- 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 any particular things that you want to achieve? Um. I don't really know, actually, but I, th- I think the biggest passion for me are the children, you know, with the encouragement, because like every club is an, an ageing club, you know, like w- it's it's a sad state of affairs, but it is, it's an ageing club. It's great that we've got people like Leona and Barbara's daughter, Dora, you know, we've got young ones and for Anne and ladies, we encourage the young ones, very much so. We encourage the young ones, they always come to perform and you know and to entertain us so we're really 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 into into that um as for the actual region i'm not really sure we've we're kind of on hold at the moment we're not quite sure what our plans are and what about you Leona? What, what what's your plans are there any any particular aspects of burns that interest you more than others i think um songs are always the ones i'm going to be most passionate about i think adding on to mums I think my most passionate thing I think is is making burns accessible for young people today and and getting young people excited about burns because unfortunately you know in clubs you know the the average age is rising you know every year so you want to get that young uh, younger ages and you know involved in the clubs so I teach privately um some great pupils you know that are going through the competitions at the minute and I want to get more people involved in the competitions and things like that and and other things so hopefully you know as they get older then they'll want to continue that love of Burns and continue to spread you know the word of Burns and join the clubs you know in their local areas that's my biggest passion is to get young people into Burns. Good 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 and, and we've heard about uh, how you get into Burns, and it was obviously through the singing. Would that be a cue for us to maybe, you could maybe give us a song? Of course. Yeah. Um, I'll sing one of Burns's most famous uh, love songs and a Red Red Rose to the original tune that Burns wrote it to. So this is Red Lovely. Red. My love is like a red, red rose. That's newly sprung in June. My love is like a melody that sweetly played in June. That sweetly played in June. As fair are Thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry, till all the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands all I shall run. While the sands all shall run and fare thee will my only love and fare thee will while I will come again my love though 
it were ten thousand miles, though it were ten thousand miles. Thank you. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. And you talked about going to uh, the Royal Conservatoire. D did you did you learn instruments or do you play instruments? Um, no, I don't. I I dabble in a few instruments, but I wouldn't say I'm a piano player or a guitar player or or a, definitely not a violin player. I tried that or a fiddle player. I tried that and it <laughs> sounded like a cat being strangled. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's just it's just not the instrument for me. Um, but no, I actually did Gaelic song as my second instrument ah. for the for the course. So I think I went up with piano as my second instrument, but then quickly changed to Gaelic song. Very good. But with, with a beautiful voice like yours, though, you don't need an instrument, do you really? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so Fiona, you talked about um, Jane and, and Bobby being a great support to you and, and talked about them as your heroes. How about within the Burn story itself? Are there any characters that you have enjoyed reading about more than others? I think it has to be, um, to me, Jean Arma. I think, you know, the, to, that definitely is, is my heroine. You know, um, about two years ago, I was asked to do the toast to Jean Arma at uh, the Dumfries House, which was an amazing honour. I was you know, really, really excited to do it. And my good friend Jane uh, was, was very supportive and, and helped me through that. And yeah, it was, it was, it's fantastic. I mean, at the end of the day, she's like, she, she stood by him for everything, for all these dalliances he did, you know, for, um, she forgave him for everything that, that, that he did. She was the epitome of, of womanhood. You know, she bore all these children. She looked after children from other people, you know. So what's not to like and admire about her? I just think she's just wonderful. And of course, she's a woman, so. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Leona? Have you got any, any heroes in the story? Oh, I don't know. I love every, I think, I love Tam O'Shanter. That is one of my goals in life is to learn the whole of Tam O'Shanter. I did an excerpt for one of the competitions when I would think I was in fifth year or sixth year. Um, but I love it. I think every time I hear it, I try and follow, like, you know, if Bobby or something's doing it, I'm following along, you know, on the book. And I think, oh, I need to, that needs to be a goal is to be able to do that off by heart and learn it. But I mean, you've got to love Willie Wassell and his wife, you know, I, I think that's, <laughs> that's one of my favourite characters, one of my favourite poems, you know. I uh, really good. <laughs> Just one for Leo, just one for Leona. Um, are you involved with Anne and Ladies Burns Club at all? Absolutely. I um, mostly do a lot of the music and singing at uh, some of the socials and gets togethers. Unfortunately, due to work and other commitments, sometimes I can't make every single event that the um, club has, but I am always there with bells on at the burn suppers and things like that. And I've done the toast to husbands and sweethearts before, especially since I'm married now, I'm allowed to take part and, and do that as much. <laughs> <laughs> in part my wisdom, as they say. Um, but I think it's definitely on the cards to, you know, be a uh, president one one time, maybe in a few years time would be would be great. And how does the toast to husbands and sweethearts work? Does somebody reply to that? No, we don't we don't have the, they don't have a reply. It's just the ladies have a wee a wee toast um or a wee poem or something like that. There's loads of, uh, Pat Jarden and uh, they all have great uh, replies and yeah. um, I'd, I'd imagine it's a very complimentary toast. Absolutely, of course. Good, of good, course. Good. <laughs> glad, glad to hear it. And in ladies, and in ladies being an all ladies club, they have slightly different. It's not the same format. They obviously have a mortal memory and you know, but we do a toast to the town and to the town to town and trade, and um, we do husbands and sweethearts. So rather than um, you know uh, uh, for to the to the laddies and the lassies, we do it slightly different. So yeah, I mean we would never have it so that the, if the men can't reply, we wouldn't have we wouldn't say anything bad about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the people are going to believe that. <laughs> we do we do we do have men that come along to our our uh, Burns dinner. 
So, you know, they are invited. That's about the only event they normally come to. They can come whenever they like, but that's normally the event they come to when we have our anniversary dinner. Uh, good stuff. And, uh, I, I've never been, so I've, I've been at Dumfries, number one, Ladies Burns Club, and, um, and I received my message. <laughs> 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 you kind of outnumbered at a ladies' burns club, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I loved it, and I mean, I've, Jane Brown and I have been pals for years. And, and when I went down there, I mean, the, the, I, sometimes the, the, the I was going to say abuse, but it's not abuse. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's gentle level, but and uh, sometimes that's it's a compliment rather than it's about a disdain. I feel absolutely. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, Jane, Jane, Jane certainly knows all there is to know about uh, Jean Armour, so um, I, I, the, the pleasure of watching her performing uh, Tracy Harvey's poem in the, in the Kirk at Mauchlin a few years ago, um, right. and, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the, the poem itself is tremendous, but Jane performed it uh, in a really excellent way. I mean, Jane, Jane's immortal memory, you know, um, as Jean is just amazing you know gets you every time it's really really good yeah is there anything else that we we should be talking about because I, I was hoping that we can maybe get leona to give us another song before we finish but uh I, I, is there I anything think that we've missed when we're talking about the region i would quite like to mention the brow well because that yeah, was sure. a really really big thing that we did so if that was okay um yeah you forget yeah, I, I, rem I remember i remember watching it and, and really enjoying it yeah, my, my first year um, in my two-year tenure as as for Dumfries and Gallery Burns Association president, um, got off to a bad start um, with having to do the AGM and the 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 passing over of the chain. It was um, I had to do it all by Zoom, like we're doing today. Um, but it actually worked in our favour because we were quite sad. It was really, really, really upset because the first thing as a president, your first role is to lay a wreath and oversee the social and everything at the Brow Well. So I was really excited about it. Say without, with COVID, we couldn't do that. So at our AGM, Emma Harper, MSP, actually suggested a virtual um, wreath laying. So, we, weren't, we, we thought that seemed a good idea, but weren't quite sure how it would work. So after everyone in, was in agreement, so we met, as a, we met again on Zoom as a committee and said, oh, what do you think about that? Will we look into it? And they contacted Emma and it, the, it absolutely snowballed from there. It was unbelievable. We had um, 39 people involved. Uh, they, we, we actually... They took lines of a ma man was made to mourn and uh, we had uh, MPs. We were very careful. We made sure we got every political party in the region. <laughs> very, very good. We, you know, representative from every single club in the De Vries and Galloway Burns Association. Um, we had a represent, we had uh, past presidents, World World President, uh, Bill Nolan did a eulogy. Um, we had uh, presentation. Um, we, had, we had the Reverend Mool, he did a, a prayer and a blessing. You know, it's just phenomenal. And it got quite good publicity. Um, it was on Border TV, it was on West Sound Radio, and it was in all the local newspapers. So from a very sad and, and really, you know, dismal time in COVID, it ended up a really exciting project to be involved in and I really got got involved in it in a big way I thoroughly enjoyed it um I think to me I think Bill Nolan actually summed it up and I, I did use his quote that we actually use 21st century technology to honor uh, an 18th century poet and I think that totally summed up exactly what we did so we were really really chuffed with with how it came about it, it certainly was very good. I remember watching it and being very impressed with uh, with what you achieved. It was it was tremendous, um, and and by doing it that way, it's amazing how how you extend the audience. You yeah. know, the the number of people who wouldn't, wouldn't normally be be able to attend something like that are able to see it and uh, and comment on it. 
it's tremendous. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. I think we, we definitely did that. We reached a, a far bigger audience. And also the, the people, because at the Brow Well, there's no seating. You know, it's it, and I'm very, very conscious, you know, that, that most of the people that go are a good bit older than me and they're maybe unsteady on their feet. They've nowhere to sit or stand. So it actually ended up really, really good for everybody because we had all these people involved and able to take part and then watch it. So, yeah, really, really proud of it, actually. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Jim, anything else you want to talk about before we ask Leona to give us a, a song to, to take us out? No, not really. I'm just desperate to hear the lady sing again. <laughs> OK, Leona, over to you. OK, um, I think I'll do one that's a favourite for most people. It's a song I sang to win Young Burns Ian. Um, and it's for Helen of Kirkconnell. So oh, I lovely. Enjoy this. Oh, that I were where Helen lies, with day and on me she cries. Oh, that I were where Helen lies, on I were 
Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. Well done. What a tremendous way to finish our our episode. That was that was just tremendous. It just uh, it just leaves me to to finish off by saying thank you very much for giving up your time to to tell us about your your lives with Robert Burns. That was fantastic. Very very interesting. Thank no you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for no, having us. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having us. Great. Tremendous. <laughs>